This video is sponsored by Logitech. Hello to all my favorite people, I'm Lucy, and today we're doing a super simple intro to using Lightroom Classic. So whether you just got Lightroom, you're thinking about getting it, or even if you've had it for a little while, but you just kind of feel like maybe you're not doing things totally right or you're missing some things, this is gonna answer all those questions. We're gonna talk about setting it up, your catalog, importing, editing, and exporting. And I promise you guys, it's going to be super simple and easy. So by the end, you're gonna to feel totally comfortable in Lightroom and editing awesome photos. So let's get right into it. So when you first get Lightroom, you wanna figure out where you're gonna save all of these files, all of these photos, and you wanna set up a new catalog so everything is together in one nice, neat package. Now, if you've been using Lightroom for a while, when you open it up, it might look a little something like this. If you're just getting started, or if you wanna start with a blank slate and you just kinda of wanna reorganize your whole catalog, go up to File, New Catalog, and then we can create a new one. I really like to keep all my photo files on an external hard drive. And so I think it's best if you save your catalog wherever you save those photo files. So you can name your catalog, whatever you would like, and then just save it. So I'm gonna save it into my travel drive, which is one of my external hard drives. And once you do that, you have a new catalog saved with all your photos. So now you can start fresh. All right, now that we've got Lightroom and our catalog all set up, the next thing that we wanna move on to is actually importing photos. One thing I really want you guys to take a look at over here, it gives you all these modules. We have library, develop, and then all these other ones. Ignore those for now. What we wanna look at is library and develop. Library is where we organize all our photos and develop is where you can actually go in and edit your photos. So if you find like you're not really sure where you are, that's the most important thing. So right now we're gonna talk about the library module and that is where we organize and import photos. So all you have to do to import photos is click this import button right here. You're gonna get this pop up and it's gonna show you all the different sources of places where you have photos saved that you can import to Lightroom. So that might be an SD card, your hard drive, an external drive, all those different places. So just go and find the photos that you want to import. Next, what you're gonna do is you can look over here at destination. Make sure you choose that same folder or hard drive where you saved your catalog so that everything is saved together. So for me, that was travel drive, and then go ahead and give it a name. I like to do the year, the month, and a title of what it is. Now, at this point, I could just go ahead and import all of these photos. Um, there would be nothing wrong with that. The only thing is, is that I took a lot of photos, and if you're like me, you might also, and maybe a lot of these aren't actually something that I need or care about. So what I like to do is hit un uncheck all. Uh, that means currently nothing is selected to import. Go to my photos, click this button here so I can view them one at a time, and now I can just choose to import the photos that are actually good and worthwhile importing. So if you press the P key, you're gonna get a little check mark right there, and that tells Lightroom that that's one of the photos that you want to import. So just go along your photos and choose the ones that you want, and if you don't care about them, just pass them by. Once you've picked all your photos, go over here and click import, and then it's going to import all those photos for you and create a folder in your drive where you saved your catalog so everything is there together in one place. Now that we've imported our photos and we've made some selects, we can actually edit these photos. Now to edit your photos, you have to jump over into the develop module. You have to be in that module to actually make any edits on your pictures. So here's one of my working catalogs with a bunch more photos. And now we're gonna head over into that develop panel. Now what you're gonna see when you jump into the develop panel is you're gonna see a bunch of presets here on the side. Lightroom actually released some new premium presets totally for free that just come with Lightroom. And then you're gonna see all the other panels just on the right side here, and they all have a ton of different features that you can go in and edit. Now I'm not gonna go through every single panel today or this video would be two hours long, but I do have in-depth tutorials on each of these panels and I'm gonna make some new ones for you guys to cover the upgrades that have happened in 2021. But let's go over the highlights of this develop panel and what you can do. So first of all, here over on this side, we can see the presets. These are the ones that are new from Lightroom. 
I think that there's nothing wrong with using presets, especially if you are just starting out. Presets are an amazing way to learn, to find styles that you like. So definitely take a look at them and see what you like. They are a great starting point. Then on the right side here, we have all of those panels. So here is the basic panel where you're really gonna spend a lot of time. You have the tone curve, HSL, where you can go in and edit color. You can do even further color grading, detail and sharpening, noise reduction, lens correction, transform, and even more effects. So like I said, these are all amazing tools. The best way to, for you to learn is to jump in and start trying them out. But like I said, I do have individual tutorials on each of these panels if you wanna dive into them. Now, other than all of these panels, there's also some amazing tools that you will use every single time that you edit in Lightroom. Uh, the first one let's talk about is cropping. Of course, if you want to, you can just go in hit that crop tool and you can crop however you like. But you can also go in and use some predefined uh, typical crop. So we can go custom and then we can just crop it however we like. Or let's say you wanna do an Instagram post, uh, you can pick four by five and do that and crop your photo right for Instagram. So that is a great tool to start using right away. Another amazing tool to use is the spot removal tool. You just click right there and then you can cover up blemishes, dirt or dust in the photo, or if we look at the before here, you can actually even take out things like logs or things in the background. You can just completely erase them and bam, you have a totally different photo. Last but not least, of course, I'm gonna talk about the adjustment brush. This is a great way to do selective edits on your photo. You don't always wanna do edits across everything, so you can just hit the adjustment brush, and let's just say we wanna bring up those shadows just on the wings here. We can do something like that just to kind of like dodge and burn or just add a little bit more interest to very specific parts of your photos. So those are the main elements of the develop panel and actually editing your photo. So as you can see, there's so many different tools that you can use in Lightroom, adjustment brushes, spot removal, all these different things. And as you keep editing, you're really gonna want to start to master your workflow and just speed up your editing and make everything a lot more intuitive. Which of course brings us to today's sponsor, which is Logitech. And I am totally in love with their MX series. It saves me so much time and I just love using them, especially for Lightroom. So I'm talking about the MX Keys for Max and the MX Master 3 for Max, my all time favorite mouse, it just makes your life so much easier. They work perfectly within the Apple ecosystem, that's what they're designed to do. And if you're a creative, if you use a bunch of software, especially Adobe software, but anything, you can actually go right into the Logi options and customize the keys to do exactly what you want in your software, which is so amazing, especially for Lightroom, like I said. I can go in and customize the scroll wheel to actually tap and be the spot removal. I can give the adjustment brush to one. It just really makes your life easier. So if you're serious about photo editing and you wanna make it a lot easier, click that link in the description below and you can learn more about the MX series for Mac. And finally, once you've done all your editing, now you can actually go ahead and export those photos. And Lightroom makes it really easy to export your photos if you wanna export a whole series. Just hold down shift and select all the photos that you wanna export. For now, let's just go with the one. You're gonna hit right click, export and export. Now, just make sure you're gonna save it to that same drive or wherever you want to save your photos. I do like to title these with export in the title just so I know what they are. And then you can also go ahead and title each individual picture if you were gonna do a series. Scrolling down, I always just choose JPEG if it's going online or for web or for social. You can put your quality to 100. And then usually for the long edge, I just do something like 1920. It's not a huge deal, especially if you're just gonna be posting it for the web, but it is better than having a massive file size for people. All right, that's all you have to do, and then click export. 
All right, everyone. So there you go. That's a super simple intro to using Lightroom. I hope that you're feeling more confident and excited to jump into Lightroom and start editing awesome photos. If you have any questions for me, if you think that maybe I missed something, you're just unsure, leave it down in the comments below and I will 100% get back to you. Once again, thank you so much to Logitech for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna check out those awesome tools for Mac and maybe pick them up so you can, you know, edit super fast and intuitively in Lightroom, click the link down below and you can check them out. All right, guys, I think that is it for now. Let me know what you want me to talk about in my next video and uh, I will see you guys next week. Peace out, love you lots.